This is G.I. Joe Retaliation Firefly. The figure is part of the second wave of the three and three quarters uh, figures for the G.I. Joe Retaliation movie toy line. Uh, over here in Manila, um, apparently this figure uh, uh, is very difficult to find on retail because a lot of collectors are after him. Um, I did see him a couple times on retail, but it didn't last more than five day, a couple days, five days at most. A lot of collectors seem to be picking this in, this figure up because of the sheer amount of plastic that you get with a purchase for this figure. Now, GI Joe's here in Manila cost about oh I don't know, but five fifteen dollars each. I mean, it's ridiculously priced, but uh, for fifteen dollars, you better sure you get the figures that really have value for money. Um, before we begin, have a quick look at the packaging. Here he is on his rocket sled. Uh, not entirely sure if he did use this in the movie. I could be wrong. I knew he used a motorcycle, but not a sled. Um, here he is and the rest of the assortment. All right. Um, Let's start with the main gimmick that this figure has. Well, um, the, essentially, uh, part of his forearm is translucent, and his fist is supposedly translucent. That's just been painted, and you connect it uh, to these handlebars. You just attach the fists to these handlebars. There are no pegs for the feet or pegs for the back. Um, it, that's just it, and uh, and then he rolls. Uh, with this with a psych what is this the blast board and it's supposedly supposed to light up so oh you can't see it with all the lights on let me see if I can show you so that's the part that lights up and supposedly the forearm lights up as well it, it doesn't I've tried doing this in the dark it does light up a little bit but it's not the best thing in the world um, I'm not buying this gimmick, really. Um, I wish they could have. In this situation, I wouldn't really mind having a missile launch uh, gimmick. There, there is a explosive launch gimmick, but it, it doesn't really do much. It's just it it like just pushes the explosive forward like that. I mean, that's it. But I, in this situation, I'm not a big fan of that light up gimmick. I would have wanted maybe a, a, a rocket firing missile, or better yet, maybe um, um, a pullback action or something like a spring loaded wheel or a, uh, a friction wheel so that when you push it, it will move. Something like that. Uh, the light up gimmick isn't, isn't my favorite. Also, part of the reason I don't like it is because of the light up gimmick, it has batteries, obviously, and it that makes it a problem if you want to keep the figure MOC because the batteries are eventually going to leak. If it's still an MOC in the next four or five years, batteries tend to leak and you just damage the whole product. So kind of sucks. All right, uh, on to the figure. The, the, sorry, the blast board is just that. Um, hardly any paint apps on it. Cobra symbol right there, which you, 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 you won't see. It's a bad place to put a Cobra symbol because he sits on it. Cobra symbol should be somewhere in front or at the back. But it's not. Uh, rolls very well, so pretty good. Yeah. Uh, he comes with several accessories. The explosive device right here, which he can't hold. He comes with two interchangeable heads. The masked head or the unmasked. I think this is a nicer head. It's a, it's a, it's a decent enough re representation of the actor, Ray Stevenson. Um, not too bad. The sculpt of the figure is amazing. I like it. The only problem I have with it is the lack of articulation, as always. Also, um, the fists, because of the gimmick, they're a little bit wide, wide gripped. So he comes with two pistols, one small one and one bigger one, but which he can barely hold. <sighs> like that. It, it's just ridiculous. Um, then there's this bigger pistol which he can't, he can hold a little bit, but yeah, it just wobbles. So kind of sucks. So they're just gonna stay there in the holster. The holsters are removable if you if you want. Um, not as tight, they're not glued on. You could remove it so you can sit 
uh, more flush on the blast board. Articulation wise, uh, wait, paint apps. Paint apps are okay. Hardly any quality issues on these. I mean, m most GI Joe figures have have very little quality issues. Uh, paint apps. Um, articulation's got a ball jointed neck, ball jointed upper torso, uh, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, and a swivel wrist. Oh no, he doesn't have a swivel wrist. Sorry, because of the gimmick. Um, my bad. He's got a ball hinged, ball jointed hip. Just a single hinge knee and no ankle articulation. That kind of sucks. Um, I wish they would have the 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 figure would have been consistent with the GI Joe articulation, regular GI Joe articulation. But it's not, and apparently they probably used too much money on the blast board to give him any more articulation, which sucks. But overall, um, the figure is decent enough. Um, I wouldn't pay scalper prices for this. I mean, retail price is decent enough for this one. I mean, fifteen dollars here in Manila is just ridiculous. So, fifteen dollars should be the top the top money. Uh, the, the most amount of money you'd pay for this figure. Overall, I, I still like the figure. Um, if you're a big fan of the movie, this is a must-have figure. Um, I'd, I'd give it an 85% uh, simply because of the lack of articulation. Could have been a higher score and maybe the cheesy gimmick for the blast board. But it could have been a higher score if they had fixed all the... Did not, or maybe they shouldn't have removed all the good stuff that made G.I. Joe figures really awesome. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video review. If you did, please click the thumbs up icon at the bottom. Follow me on Twitter for toy, my, my toy purchases, Instagram, my latest toy sightings here in Manila, and Keek for my mini toy hauls. Catch my videos on FX Friends and Chefatron on YouTube, as well as some of the videos I submit uh, to, sec, to sec, Tech Sushi uh, on YouTube. This has been the G.I. Joe Retaliation. Firefly, thanks for watching.